How's it going guys? Today I'm doing a short video on Artifact Transcending. So come here to Artifacts and go to Artifact Transcend and here it is. You need at least 26 star artifacts. So I've got 21 at the moment and I've had, I've unlocked Artifact Transcending for three days and I've transcended three. You can only do one per day and it costs three units, one evolved and 300 honor coins so the biggest mistake i've made in the game so far is buying the honor units over here in my units i've got eight hippogriffs i'm actually only running seven at the moment because i've got a senior aladdin in there so eight of them plus i've bought 13 13 of the Dark Spirit and Blade Masters in total, so 13 of those two and 8 of them, that's 21, 21 units, so that's around about 92,000, 92,000 honor coins that I've spent or wasted, I think, on these units instead of buying the artifacts because... The, um, the amount that they go up once you've transcended them is ridiculous. So here's one with the gold acquisition, which is I think is the most important. Here's a non-transcended one at 62.3A, and then it goes up to 644.1A. So that's, or I've, I have done one extra level here. So you can go in here and go increase maximum level. I don't really think that's all that... Um, necessary at my stage anyway um, because of just how much it goes up it's gone up well ten times pretty much ten times the amount of gold quest acquisition and then gold quest acquisition is also a multiplier so my gold quest acquired is up to 855 B because it's multiplied by your pets and where are my pets so I've got Snork, Piggy and Mambo all at 5 star and I'm nearly got Sleepy at 5 star as well. And I'm slowly farming Winky, Waikong and who else is there? Um, Cora, all at only one per day but I'll slowly get them up a little bit. So that's my gold quest acquired. To do the second tier of Artifact Transcend, so Trans 2, you need to have all 44 of the 6 star Artifacts Trans 1 before you can even do 1. So if I had spent those 92,000 Honor Coins on just buying these random 5 to 6 stars, I've got all of the 5 star now, so I can only get the 6 star when I do a random Artifact. So that would be like, uh, how many? 18. 18 more. So I would nearly have all of the 5 star, uh, 6 star artifacts by now if I hadn't spent all of those um, honor coins on the honor units. Anyway, I'll do a artifact transcend now. Where are we? So I've already skipped through and um, changed materials because they wanted me to... Um, use a Dark Archer and I just don't want to waste any of my good troops. I wouldn't use Dark Archers, Priests, uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't use Fairies and none of the Sword Dancers, Valkyries, Ice Spirits and I forget what the other one is. And I wouldn't use my trainers if I only had five trainers. Anyway, let's do a transcend. Oh, you yeah, have to evolve one of these. Okay, so. Okay, so transcend. And it's given me reduce the quest time 700% plus um, battle engagement time for Orc, but I don't run any Orc. So now I can change this with 500 gems, but I can only change it once. 
the thing is with doing this is that you're going to have to trans all of the 44 six star artifacts once before you can start trans -toing the any of them. So it might make sense to save your gems and just select the one that they've given you, but I'm just going to change it just for this video. Hopefully I'll get a gold quest acquisition. And I just got another reduce the quest time and battle engagement time for humans. So that one's not too bad, I suppose. So I'll go back in here and it wants me to use one of my um, Dark Admirals, which I think I've only got five of those. Oh, I've only got four non-evolved, plus I would have the one that's trans three that I use for my units. So I might just change materials because I don't really want to use one of my Dark Admirals. Okay, now it's still with the Dark Admiral, so I'm going to change again. And it wants me to use a Hoiden Goku, which I only have... I've only got those two, so... Well, I've got those two plus a Trans 3 one, but I don't want to use those. Okay, this one's not bad, so... I've got four of these, so I'll evolve that one now. So tomorrow when I go to evolve, which I'll be doing one every day, you'd be crazy not to. Um, I've got 300 there ready to go for a transcend. Now once you've done one of these six stars, you can't transcend, go and transcend one of these. You can only, only do one artifact per day. But I don't think it's worthwhile doing the five star artifacts anyway. So now I can go to the honor shop and buy a six star Let's see what I get reduce the quest time 400 percent so not too bad I think I've got one of the other ones I might put that in we'll just see okay so I'm not using the one that I just trans so I'm going to sell one of these artifacts and put that one in another thing I've done is I've gone through all of these uh, five star artifacts and sold any of the sets that I have and only put in the gold quest acquisition because I think that's more important than having um, the sets to give you extra medals because it can can push you so much further these gold quest acquisitions can push you so much further through the stages that it makes up for the medals anyways but I will sell one of these now which one anyone And then I'll go to my time shop and put in the one that I just transed. Reduce the quest time, 1.4a. So it's gone from reduce the quest time 700% to 1.4a. So it's doubled. So over here on Slay the Archdragon 2, it used to be um, one minute for the quest. Now it's gone down to 30 seconds. So there you go guys, just a quick video on Artifact Transcending and how not to spend your Honor Coins and waste them like I did. Alright, thanks guys, thanks for watching.